Okay, I don't know how to start this off, and I look like Thom York today. Um, and I was gonna do this as a fridge vlog, but I don't know, I feel like it's something people don't think about enough. Um, basically, um, the way we vote in a lot of uh, Western countries is kinda good, but it could be a lot better. I'm sure people um, know a lot about this, but it benefits you, I think, basically, whatever your ideology because if we have a system that's more representative of everyone's views better, I think the first thing you have to look at is what your goal is voting. Do you want it to represent everyone? Do you, so it's like, do you want to represent a majority? So I'd say the two things you want to go for are majority, so it's like, please the most piece of people possible, or the second option, is to make everyone like as equally pleased as possible like make everyone kind of happy make everyone feel kind of represented so um majority or uh please everyone um and i think you can make a pretty valid argument for either of those um so what um most places have right now like the us or the uk is um you vote for so you have all these places in countries i'll probably draw them as squares um and we'll just say these are different areas and they all vote for like a local representative so they might vote um for uh blue and then they want red and they want red and then these guys want blue and let's say there's another little square here to vote red as well, yeah? But, so, there's like different groups here. So there's a problem with this already, because smaller areas with less population might be getting um, larger votes. And it might even be difficult to see this on a map as well, because there might be a really small area with loads of people on it. And uh, when you do things by how many people there are, that's called per capita. Um, and like you can already see, I'm sure anyone can see, there's loads of problems with this already. Um, but then there's also problems with if you just take a country uh, as a whole and you just tally up all the votes as well. Um, and that creates some problems as well because it's like, what if there's... Uh, some people who are affected really badly by something and that would be like when you're going for majority voting i think i generally want to please everyone i think that's my take but i think i can see a really good argument for uh majority as well i think everyone should be um represented more because some things are like let's say i'm a really rich person and i want to vote for something that benefits me that might like that might benefit me just a bit, but um, and there might be loads of rich people and they want to vote for that, or they're using their money to convince other people, and then like this is affecting some poor people really badly. Um, so there's already like a, a, a few problems there with things people can see, and it's I'm gonna offer some sort of solutions because the systems we have in place right now aren't even as good as this because we have things like electoral colleges. Um, where it's like these previously selective representatives um, are already coming back again and again. It doesn't really allow for much change. And while things uh, in stated can be good, that doesn't mean that change is bad. I think we shouldn't be afraid to change things. So anyway, um, let me go for a clean slate here. Um, so a system that I've seen a bit before is tiered voting. So it's like, um, rather than I go in and I pick um, just one person, say there's like three options, um, I might like, it's, I might really hate this, um, this guy, um, and I might really like this guy, but I think everyone's going to vote for this guy who's in the middle, which is probably something a lot of uh, American people are feeling like right now. Either way, as well, on either side. So they're going to feel like, oh, my hand's forced, I want to vote for this guy. But let's say hypothetically instead, I could tier my vote like this. So I go like, okay, well, I'd like, I prefer this guy the most. But if not, I'll, I'm happy with this guy. Um, 
That way, you're pleased, um, and you're better represented. And you could say, but I never want this guy. This guy gets, like, I don't know, we'll just put a cross there. Uh, another option would be able to split your vote. So it's still one vote, one vote, one person, you know? But now it's like, okay, I'd like to split my vote 50% to this guy, 50% to this guy, because I'm not sure. And that might sound shitty, because if it's like, if someone's really not sure and they're splitting their vote a lot, um, and you think like, oh, that's just going to split votes. One, that's up to them if they want to do that. They can still do one vote for one person. It lets them kind of program their vote a little bit to better express themselves. Um, and two, it's like, if we're looking at um, things during to like a close and it's close, sometimes people win by one vote. You might be winning by like 0 0.1 of a vote, you know? Because it's like, I might not be sure. It's like, oh, I feel kind of 50-50 about these two, but the rest of them I really hate. So that's a good way to express that. Um, yeah, I, I think either of those two systems are a huge improvement. Or you could just literally have like no electoral colleges, no nothing like that. Just everybody um, votes for their local representative and their president separately, president separately, which is kind of close to what we have now. But there's an electoral college and their representative so you could just get rid of the electoral college and do stuff like that i just found like this was interesting for me to think about um i think politics and systems are interesting the problem with um new systems so let's say we have a new system and we want to vote just by system and not by like a person who picks all the systems it's like Having to vote to change the voting system, you can see issues with that already. So I think people should be pushing for these and see what would happen hypothetically. And they shouldn't just do it to say, like, let's say, I want a um, uh, blue guy to win, you know? So, oh, this system benefits me most wanting blue guy to win. So that's best. We should be, when scientists do things... They're actively trying to find ways to break their system rather than to prove it, you know? We can't be conspiracy theorists about this. We have to um, question what we pick and what we do. So if someone wants to, if, if people feel that a majority system is better, um, at the end of the day, it would be like, okay, fair enough. Um, at least give me the if I'm like a good citizen and I pay my tax and do what I can, at least give me the option to leave the country I'm in, you know, and freely leave and move to a country that I feel better represents me politically. Because I don't feel very represented uh, where I live. Um, so that's it. That's all, that's all I got. Poo.